you ain't gonna do no whole big thing on you. Just you know, you talking shit or whatever, right? And then you talking shit about all of us, and you talking about me. And I'm my thing is, what did I do to you? I didn't do nothing to you. If anything, I'm the guy that reached out to you like a brother. Now tell me, tell me, I'm lying, man. Yo, I guess that's a lie that never happened. The two times I went out to Texas, we was in the brother house. I said, call that brother on the phone, man. And I got you on the phone, and I told, look, man, brother, 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 still love you, brother, still got love for you. Just do the work, brother. Just do the work. The second time I went out, I called that brother. Call it, called you again on the phone, man, and said, look, brother, man, look, talk to you like a brother showed you nothing but love, man. You know what I mean? But then your response is to talk shit and make up lies, man. Hey, man, but that apostle to us said, that's that demon, man. That's that spirit. Like, I guess you didn't want to talk shit, but then the demon got on you and made you do it. But I'm not angry at you, man. I'm not even mad at you, man. It, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everything going to play out the way it's supposed to play out. This is the Lord's show, man. But I know uh, one thing we're going to do. Lord, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, regardless of whatever you say or what Baloo says or anybody else says. Y'all can say whatever you want. You can bring up whatever so-called dirt you want. But look, what are we doing? What are we here doing every week? Every week, what are we doing? We in front of this camera, and this video is going out every week. You see us on the camp. You see us doing other videos. We're still doing the work, pushing the word, man. That's right. Regardless of what all you... So all you guys can... <laughs> you can all... Uh, you can all get on the Titanic, right, and just sail out into the ocean together, man, and just wait for the boat to go, wait for the iceberg to hit that the, that boat, man, and y'all can all go down, man, on that boat together, man, okay, because we're gonna keep doing the work, man. If you how about shimmy, how was that? And um, you know, on YouTube, yeah. July, uh, the, the the month of July, two thousand seven, we uh set up the first camp. Well, we put it on YouTube, yeah. but before YouTube, before we put it on YouTube, it was out there anyway, before YouTube, okay? But um, from July of 2007 until this very day, this present day, we've been out there consistently for all those years, okay? So uh, we ain't took no breaks. We ain't took no winters off, you know? We ain't took no weeks off, man. If there was a snowstorm on a Saturday, guess what? We came out that Sunday. So we never missed a weekend, man. And we're constantly putting up videos, man. And the rest of you guys are playing, man. Having cookouts and barbecues, inviting the heathens, man. Don't you know them guys are heathens, man? Anyway, um, it says here, uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses... Let us lay aside every weight, things that hold you back, and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. And we've been running. We've been running, all right? So looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher, finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endureth the cross he endured it so we got to endure it man don't tarry wait for it despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the of the throne of the most high and we also going to sit on that same throne i'm gonna show you that in the scriptures yeah i got a precept to back up the apostle um uh speaking of cross this is the book of uh, luke 14 and 27 <coughs> It says, and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So the cross is a part of being in this thing of ours, man. You have to endure whatever your cross may be. It could be a, a, you suffer in your body, you suffer, suffer suffering internally or externally. You know, uh, whatever it may be, you're supposed to bear it and come after the Lord. Coming after the Lord means you go out there and do what you're supposed to do, which is teach you learn, you make videos, you know, come after me, cannot be my disciple. For which of you intending to build a tower, sit if not down first and count if the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it, which a lot of these guys that fell out, they, that's something they didn't do. You know, they didn't really fully understand this thing that we're involved in. They didn't count the cost. Least aptly, 
after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. So and that's why we get on, guys. That's it. Hey, hey this, that's the spirit, man. Yeah. If you fall off, we're going to get on you, man. We're going to talk it. about you, okay? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you see it's scriptural. It says, least aptly, after he have laid the foundation. This is when you first come into the knowledge. You're, you're starting to lay the foundation. Just like when you build a building, you start with the foundation. And is not able to finish it. All that behold it begin to mock him. Like this guy that we work with, there's this carpenter crew, <laughs> the house over. And here it is, it's been what? It's been like uh, almost uh, three months. And they've been do building a small garage. And that thing is, 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 is still not finished. A, s a little small garage, and it's still not finished. And every time the, the, the guy we work with, our boss, he always mocks them. He say, yeah, he, he makes fun of them. All right? So it's the same thing in this, in this truth. You know, if you build, man, the aim to build, when you build, the aim is to finish. Finish what you're building. And that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. We're doing the work, man. We're the construction crew that's going out con constantly to build this thing. These are bricks that we're building. Yeah. Okay? We do it in the wintertime. We do it in the summertime. Yeah. Okay, hey, we out there when it rains. If it rains too hard, we out there, then we close up. We don't want the, the signs to get all messed up, all right? So we're constantly, we're constantly pushing this word out, man. Yeah. Diligently, man, not playing games, man. You know, not see, – see, Nate, your motivation is money, man. That's it. You're trying, you trying to be a – you might be a millionaire right now. You're trying to be a billionaire, man. You're, you probably have a, a secret agenda that you want to be the first Hebrew Israelite billionaire. You know, I'm going to be the first Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite billionaire. Yeah. You're basically going to be another T.D. Jakes, man. I'm surprised you ain't got a goddamn Lear jet yet, man. But you're probably working on it, He's man. He's probably working on it. He's yeah. working on it. Him and his wife is getting together, scheming on how they can get that Lear jet, man. Yeah. All right. The new Creflo dollar and his wife is the new well, Laffy well, Nate, Taffy. Well, Nate, well, hey, Nate is a new Creflo, man. He's the new Creflo. He's a Creflo and, and, and your wife is a uh, Taffy. Yeah, Laffy uh, Taffy. A uh, dollar. <laughs> uh, re re note it says. Yeah, because. And we're making mockery of Nate because he, he stopped building, man. He stopped building. Well, he's built a garage and it's going to take you three years to build a garage. <laughs> a dog house. Yeah. Six months, you're still building a doghouse, man. Yep. You know? And like I said, the Most guy... Most I going to put you in the doghouse. Right. Yeah, like I said, the guy we work with, our, our boss, he, he makes fun of those uh, those guys every chance But that's human nature. That's human nature. You know? Because it's a small garage. It shouldn't take that long to build. But the aim of building is to finish. That's the most important part of building is to finish what you're building. All right? It, it says, uh, least aptly after he have laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, <laughs> all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, this man began to build and was not able to finish. And uh, if you look at Yahweh Shai, he started building, but he finished. Because when he was on the cross, he made that, that statement. He said, it is finished. And then he bowed his head and he, and he gave, up the, gave up the spirit. Now when he comes back on the planet Earth, he's going to totally finish the work. All right? But at least he made that statement, it is finished. So we're looking to finish, man. We, we started building. Uh, you have uh, Apostle El Taha. He started building, what, 30 years ago? You have other brothers who started building 20, 25 years ago. And we're looking to finish, man. You know? Second Corinthians uh, 8 and 6, right? And as much that we desire Titus, that as Paul again, the, the most zealous, one of the most zealous apostles that ever existed, and as much that we desired Titus, that as he had begun, so he would also finish <laughs> in the same grace also. What's the grace? This knowledge. This truth. Right? Right? Seventh verse. So those guys who fell out, they never finished. Gun. Gun. Therefore, as ye abound, right, in everything, in faith, and utterance, and knowledge, and in all diligence, right? And in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. You see that, man? 
So that's what I'm talking about. That's what Paul said. You supposed he gave you the format. He told you what to do. Abound, man. You supposed to stay in. You supposed to continue, <laughs> continue in the the work, the grace. What's the grace? When you woke up to the knowledge, you brothers that was woken up to this knowledge, that was the grace. The Most High gave grace unto you, pulled you out of the world, and brought you under the grace of Yahweh Shai, man. You learned the Most High's name. You learned Yahweh Shai's name, and you learned the truth. You learned these scriptures. So you're supposed to abound in this, man, in all diligence. It said, finish out the what you what 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 you started, man. A lot of you guys didn't do that. 